Hello there. I'm at an Omii right now. My parents couldn't wait any longer. They don't think I can find a partner on my own. That's why they set this thing up. My Omii partner is the daughter of some guy one of my father's colleagues knows. So she's pretty much a stranger. I'm Taiki Miyagawa. I'm Kane Yamauchi. I knew she was pretty since they showed me a photo beforehand, but she was far more beautiful than I had expected in person. However, it doesn't matter if my Omii partner is gorgeous or not. What I mean to say is that I won't end up with her. She may be smiling to be polite, but I know she's disappointed inside. I'm a nobody, a loser with nothing to be proud of. I'm sure I'm ten times a loser from what she expected. She would never go for me. Is it? Huh? Hey, Taiki, I get it, she's gorgeous. But don't stare at her like that. Damn it, Dad! You're the one who's practically drooling over how pretty she is! What do you usually do for fun? Oh, uh, for fun? Well, I like to take walks. Take walks? Yes, I enjoy taking photos while walking. Doesn't that mean photography is your hobby? Uh, I, I take photos with my phone. That's not exactly photography. What about you, Yamauchi-san? I guess... reading. What do you read? Tazai and Akutagawa, but Kenji Miyazawa is my favorite. Do you like to read Miyagazawa-san? Nah, not at all. I think the last time I read a book was when I was in university. Oh, I see. The Omii continued like that. The atmosphere was almost unbearable. I could feel myself failing one topic after the other. On our way home from the Omii, Taiki, I understand you were nervous, but your behavior was unacceptable. What was I supposed to do? She seemed like such a nice girl. It's hopeless. You won't be getting any grandchildren from me. You're right. I guess our family history will end with you, Taiki. I could have acted better, but that would have been faking it. I can't keep up an act for the rest of my life. She's out of my league! I could never get a girl like her. Let's be thankful it ended before becoming a nightmare. It was my honest opinion. Yamauchi-san deserved better than me. But to my surprise, Yamauchi-san's family contacted my parents a few days later. Taiki, you did it! It's a freaking miracle! This is unbelievable! How is this even happening? Huh? What is it? Did you win the lottery or something? I hope they did. That way I can quit my job and live the rest of my life in peace. No, idiot! The Omii! I thought I told you to give up on that. I'm not telling you to go on another one! Yamauchi-san called! She wants to see you again! What? She said she would love to take a step forward in the process with you! This is your last chance at marriage, Taiki! Oh, I can't wait to meet my grandchildren! My parents were overjoyed! They didn't realize how stumped I was! I couldn't wrap my head around it! There must have been some sort of mistake! I somehow convinced everybody the marriage could wait! Yamauchi-san became my fiancé! It was the right decision. My relationship with Yamauchi-san was brief, but I could tell we weren't right for each other. The truth was, I didn't believe Kanae-san when she said she liked me. There must have been some other reason. I mean, how could she? If I were her, I would avoid me. I wouldn't find a single thing attractive. I'm sure there's an explanation for this. It can't be about money, because my family isn't wealthy, but no matter how hard I thought about it, I couldn't solve the mystery. Kanae-san and I agreed to meet once every two weeks to go on a date. Oh, uh, Taiki-san. I'm sorry, Kanae-san. Did I make you wait long? I arrived at our meeting point three minutes late. I know it's not much. I wanted to see how she would react, to see if she would show her true colors. Now that I think about it, I guess I should have made her wait for at least an hour if I wanted to see her true reaction, but I couldn't do that to her. I'm too chicken. I feel awful about making her wait an extra three minutes. I would die of guilt if I made her wait an hour. No, not at all. I'm glad you're here. I was worried you were in an accident or something. Oh, uh, no, I, I, I'm fine. I can see that. I'm relieved to see you're well. Yeah, the guilt. Where would you like to go today? Um, how about an aquarium? Are you talking about the one in the next town over? Have you been before? Nope. You don't have to lie to me. You have, haven't you? Well, yes. A few times. Okay, we can go somewhere else then. Oh, uh... What is it? Um, it's nothing. Is there anywhere else you would like to go? Nope, I'm fine with anything. I see. Well, we can grab a cup of coffee and chit-chat, and then we'll go home. Huh? Well... I mean, we have nowhere else to go, right? None of our dates were enjoyable. Not one. So, a fiancé. Are things going well between you guys? Uh... What? Is that bad? Uh, what the hell, man? Well, we go on a date once every two weeks. Hey, that's good! Where'd you go? I suggested we go to an aquarium the last time we met. Okay, how'd it go? We didn't. We had a cup of coffee and then went our separate ways. Wait a second, how did that happen?! Well, Kanae-san told me she had already been to the aquarium. Taiki, you're such a moron! Huh? That's unacceptable! How could you do that to her?! I bet your fiancé was furious after that! 
Nope, she didn't seem upset. Seriously? Wait, what do you guys usually talk about? The weather and stuff. That's old people talk, dude. We also talk about stock prices and our views on politics. I would hate to have to go on a date with you. That's horrible. But they're all important issues. She must be head over heels. Crazy about you. She would have dumped you otherwise. Nah, it's not like that. She's super pretty. I still don't understand why she would want to spend time with me. But she shows up at every date, right? Yep. You keep in touch? Not really. I mean, we text to decide where to meet and stuff. What does she see in you? I have no idea. Maybe she's doing it for the money. Yeah, the thought crossed my mind. Oh, uh, I think we're moving in together next month. What? I don't understand. You guys barely have a functioning relationship. We have to experience living together before we get married, right? My parents are freaking out about it. They think I'll die alone if I lose this opportunity with Kanae-san. Ah, uh, I see. There's no way she has feelings for me. She's totally out of my league. You never know, Taiki. You don't give yourself enough credit. You think so? Yeah, I really do. I'm your friend, and I'm here to say you're not as bad as you think you are. You've got some pretty good qualities. Not saying you're the most attractive guy around, but you're too hard on yourself. Are you complimenting me or insulting me? I don't know, but anything's possible. Maybe your fiancé's a little weird. Maybe she sees something in you nobody else does. She could actually like you. We couldn't continue the conversation since our boss passed by. We went back to our desks and got back to work. We decided we would both move out of our parents' house and rent an apartment of our own for privacy. We picked a place located between our workplaces. Kanae-san, is this all of your stuff? Yes, I think so. I didn't realize how late it was. We should eat. What do you want? Um, well... We can order something or eat out. Is something wrong? It's nothing. Let's go eat wherever you want, Taiki-san. Are you sure? Yep, I can eat anything. I'm not very picky. Okay, well, how does Chinese sound? Wonderful! We can continue unpacking tomorrow. We can use a break. You're right. Come on, let's go. Sure, let's head out. We found a reasonable Chinese restaurant in the neighborhood. The food tasted great. I enjoyed eating there. I did too. Kanae-san? Yes? What is it? Would you rather be somewhere else? Of course not, Taiki-san. Why would you think I don't want to be here? Well, it's just, you don't look too happy. That's not true. Kanae-san, to tell you the truth, I don't think I've ever seen you laugh when you're with me. Huh? You don't have to force yourself to be with me. If you want to call the whole thing off, please, feel free to. I would never want you to be unhappy. Just be honest with me. I would never! Look, I get it. We don't balance well as a couple. You're out of my league. Kanae-san didn't reply to my statement. To me, her silence acted as an answer itself. Let's go home. Okay. And that was the start of our life together. Um... What is it? How do you like how the miso soup tastes? It's delicious. To be honest, it was too salty for me. Oh, I wanted to talk to you about tonight. Um, sure. I was planning to make sweet and sour pork. Taiki-san, you like Chinese, don't you? Oh, uh, well, I have plans tonight. I'm going out for some drinks with some colleagues after work. I see. I'm sorry. I know I should have told you before. It's okay. Will you be coming home late then? I don't think I'll be too late, but you don't have to wait up for me. I'm sure you'll be tired. And I'm grateful for your cooking, but you don't have to go out of your way to make me meals all the time. I mean, you work as well. It must be a hassle for you to think about dinner every night. Okay. We had been living together for a few days. Things were still awkward between us, and it felt suffocating and uncomfortable. I had a feeling one of us would be moving out soon. There was no way Kanae-san was having fun living with me. Taiki! Are you sure you should be here? Aren't you a newlywed? We're not married yet. But it's practically marriage! You guys are living together now! You know, can you set your wedding date in spring? I gain a little weight during the winter, and I never feel like working out since it's so cold. You don't have to worry about that. We'll be breaking up soon. Aw, oh, come on! You're still spurting nonsense like that? Well, our conversations are dull, and I have no idea what she's thinking most of the time. So that's why you left your wife behind and came out with us? I keep telling you she's not my wife. This may not be the best advice since I've never met your fiancé, but I can tell you're distancing yourself from her, Taiki. You're not all in. You keep making excuses not to get too deep into it. I get it, you don't want to get hurt, but you might lose the best thing that happened to you if you don't step it up. I know, but is it so wrong to want to protect myself? She could break my heart. No, I understand. Everybody's terrified of getting hurt, but spending the rest of your life with somebody can't always be rainbows and unicorns. You overcome your problems together. Taiki, you're so busy protecting yourself, have you thought about how it could be hurting your fiancé? No, I haven't. Think about it, your fiancé could be the perfect match for you. You're a man, you should be the one showing her what life could be. You may get hurt, you may end up in tears, but that girl chose you. Nothing is worse than you being the one to break her heart. I bet you've got girls lined up to date you. I said, and I believed it. Yep. Hey, finish that drink, you should go home.
I'm home. Uh, oh, you're back. I'm surprised you're awake. Yes, I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize for anything, Kanae-san. I could smell alcohol on you. Uh, yeah. Come to think of it, I don't think we've ever had drinks together, Taiki-san. Kanae-san, do you drink a lot? Not at all. I see. I didn't even know how much Kanae-san could drink. Months had passed since I first met her, but I never thought to ask her. Would you like to go out for some drinks with me this weekend? Are you sure? Well, uh, that is, if you're free. I'll go. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Oh, is that so? Yes. Okay, I'll look up some places and pick somewhere nice. Does that mean we're going on a date? Kanae-san's cheeks were slightly red as she smiled. That was the first time I hoped to find out more about her. I wanted to become closer to her. Mm. What's going on? Something's bothering you, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going on a date with Kanae-san. Why would that bother you at all? You're acting like you've never been on a date before, but you have! This isn't your first date with her! This one will be different from the previous ones. I only went on the previous dates because I had to as her fiancé. However, for the first time, I wanted to get to know her. Dude, this is all your fault. Everything you said is nagging at me. What did I say? I never nagged! You told me to be more open to her. Are you finally ready to start committing? Well, you made an undeniable point. I don't want to see her hurt because of my selfish actions. That's what jerks do. I'm proud of you. Okay, let's see what I can do to help. What are you thinking about? We're going out for some drinks, but I only know cheap izakayas. I need to find a classy place. Hmm, let's ask around for female opinions. Yo! Hello! Senpais, uh, why do you both look so upset? Well, the thing is... I see you have some issues. Well, yes. I need help. Well, I have some recommendations. Huh? Really? Yep. Can you take me to one of the places during break today? I want to see the place before the actual date, please. I'll buy you lunch. You're buying? Of course. But wouldn't your fiancé be upset if she heard you took one of your co highs out for lunch? Nah, she's not the jealous type at all. I'm sure she'll be fine with it even if I told her we ate lunch together. Great, it's a date. Yay, free lunch for me. Do you want to go too? I would, but I have a feeling my meeting will take longer than usual. You guys go ahead. Okay. The restaurant my kohai took me to was amazing. The atmosphere and the food was beyond my expectation. I was sure Kanae-san would love it. I was right. Kanae-san loved the restaurant my kohai introduced me to. Wow, this is great. I'm glad you like it. I asked around for my colleagues' advice. You researched for me? Yeah, I don't have much knowledge of nice restaurants. You didn't have to do that for me. But we're on a date tonight. Y yes you're right. The food was mouth-watering, and the drinks were delicious. Plus, the conversation was flowing. Kanae-san, you have a lighter tolerance than you said you did. <laughs> oh, are you drunk? You're not turning red at all. <laughs> I'm quite sober. No way, you're drunk, aren't you? No, but I'm having a blast! Thank you for doing all this for me. Great, I'll tell my kohai you enjoyed the restaurant. Maybe I should treat her to another meal to thank her. Another meal? Oh, wait a minute, have you been here with her before? Yes, when she showed me the place. So you came to a fancy restaurant... with a woman? Um, yes. I wasn't expecting the following events as I answered her question. I didn't realize I had stepped on a landmine. Y you cheated on me! Taiki-san, you betrayed my trust! Cheated?! I can't believe this! I've been trying to be patient with you this whole time! But I cannot let this slide! How could you do this to me? Kanae-san, you've had too much to drink! I am not drunk! Yes, she's definitely drunk. I already know. You are obviously not invested in our relationship. I've been holding in all of my feelings because I know all I wanted was to cook for you. I wanted you to prioritize coming home to me over going for drinks with your colleagues. I wanted to go to the aquarium with you, Taiki-san. But I didn't say anything because I didn't want you to hate me any more than you already do. That's why I've been so obedient. But now I know you cheated on me. I can't bottle it up anymore. By this time, she was wailing her heart out. I only thought babies cried so hard. Maybe the change in my heart came too late. I had already hurt Kanae-san. It broke my heart to see her break down. She'd been feeling the same way as me. We were both afraid of getting hurt. My heart had never felt such pain before. Later, I looked back and realized it was because I cared for her. She was bawling her eyes out from fear of losing me, and it struck my heart hard. I was falling in love with her. We can't get married like this. We know nothing about each other. We're basically strangers. Huh? That's why, Kanae-san. No, I want 
to be with you, Taiki-san. I don't want to let go, ever! I should have thought of a different way to bring up what I was about to talk about. My phrasing seemed to have caused a misunderstanding. Thank you for saying that. I feel the same way. I want to be with you, Kanae-san. Can you teach me more about you? Everything you feel? And all the thoughts going through your head? I'll share everything I feel as well. I'll tell you everything. I'll reveal everything! Okay. That way, we will know more about each other, and after getting better acquainted, if we both still feel the same way, I think that's when we'll be ready to take the next step. I couldn't mention marriage at that point. It would be irresponsible for me to talk about it when we weren't even at the starting line. It took more time and effort than I had expected. Our walls did not go down easily. Two years had passed since our date at the restaurant. Hey, you said you would come home early tonight! I know! I'm sorry! Taiki-kun, you're taking out the trash tomorrow morning! Of course! So, why are you late anyway? Are you cheating again? As it turns out, Kanae is the jealous type. I can't believe you brought that up! That was two years ago, and I wasn't cheating! I was late because I had to stop by the shop for this. Is that...? Two full years with Kanae. I can read her like a book now. My feelings continue to grow the more I found out about her, and I still feel the same way I did two years ago. Now, I'm finally ready to take the next step. I've been waiting for the perfect time to ask you what I wanted to say two years ago. Kanae, will you marry me? Are you sure you want me? I'm sorry for making you wait so long. Oh, it's okay. Can you put the ring on my finger? Yes, it looks perfect. Thank you. I'll treasure it for the rest of my life. And I will treasure you for the rest of mine. I made my fiancé cry again, but I don't regret it since they're tears of happiness. Kanae and I have come a long way from the beginning. Now she has my heart, and I have hers. Thank you for watching. How was today's video? Please check out our other videos as well.